Okay, now, hello everybody. I hope your uh, Monday's going good. I uh, been working on the 4020, and I haven't done no sanding, but I did get the throttle lever put on today, so that was good. And I got the seat, I got the seat made, so that was good. So I'll just kind of show you here real quick. I can set it there. Right, 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 right there. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let me pull him over just a little bit there so it looks right. And let's see. There we go. And then the seat will go kind of about right there. So that's the first, the first look at it with the steering wheel and the levers and the seat. So I'm very happy how this is looking. Still got a lot to go, but kind of everything has to be just kind of roughed in the shapes and everything has to be res to be roughed in before you can just finish anything. Everything's got to fit like a puzzle. So what I'm going to show you right now is <clears throat> I'm starting the console, the side console that goes over here, <clears throat> over here beside the seat, right here, and then that will get four levers that go here. And so I was going to show you real quick one of the steps to doing that. So here, when it's done, there will be one of the levers. Right there and then that'll slide back and forth in here it'll actually go this way so I have to cut these I have to cut the notches in here before I put anything else on so I kind of you kind of have to do it backwards and then here's where I welded the little washer on the bottom where it will pivot and I'm going to show you real quick how how I put the notch in there and how I make the lever this isn't this isn't out of quarter inch the throttle lever is quarter inch rod and the seat to get the shape of the seat what I did was I got to made this just a rough sketch of the, the length and the width and the depth of the seat and then I cut that out got that oval shape and then I took some uh, quarter inch rod some quarter inch rod and I welded it around the outside edge and so I left that round curve from that rod exposed so when I went down with the one inch bottom section once I sand that that'll be that that'll be the curved edge of that, that quarter inch rod that'll give me a nice smooth surface on the edges so so there's that and here's my little sketch here's my little sketch of this here so it needed to be three inches three inches at the widest point here up there and then it needed to be an inch and a half going across, but I actually went one and three quarters because I couldn't fit those levers, all them levers in there. And so I went a little bit bigger on that. So, so there's the first, there's the first notch right there. So you can kind of get an idea. So when that, when that gets done, it'll move back and forth. All four of them will move back and forth. You can see, you can see there's only three, but there's four slots. So I don't know if, if uh if the guy that if the guy that brought me the tractor here if it one got broke off or if there was if there was only was three and that's just an extra one in case you uh you have you put in an extra extra outlet on the back so but anyway i'm gonna put i'm gonna see how much room here i got and i might put i might put the i'll probably try to put the four slots in it so Okay, so if you come down here, I'm going to show you real quick how to put how I'm putting those the slots in here. Let's see, if you need something to cover your ears, and probably not. <laughs> I've heard it I, all. Okay, so let me get my safety glasses here. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost. I lost. Here they are. Oh, okay. I have five pair of safety glasses, and I still have to hunt for them. Okay, so here we go, guys. First, I'm going to take this, get my gloves. How about gloves? Do you see any yellow gloves? How about right there, maybe right here? Let me get these to kind of save a few sparks. 
Okay, here we go, guys. I got my little. Come up here closer, Deb. You can see that second notch going in there. Yeah. And uh, that's where the second little, the first lever will go there, and the second lever will go here. And uh, this, now this is really brittle, really gonna bend easy. So you got to be careful. And once, once these are all done, and once these levers are put in there, then I can weld. I'll weld a piece underneath here to re, to reinforce it again. And so then that'll be sturdy again with all that. So, so there's the second one. So let me put another one in there. Okay, I'll be backing up. All right. <laughs> that was crazy. So here we go. So there's three notches for the three levers and when you uh, take it out of the vise and you turn it upside down it's got a lot of burrs and stuff on the bottom so then it has to be it has to be sanded smooth with a different sander This, how much I made the lever. These, the, those on the on the dash were round levers, and the ones over here on the side console they're they're flat levers. So I want to get that that look of the flat one. So what I did was I got some quarter inch by eighth inch flat steel, and I uh, I'm cutting a little. I'm gonna. And if you look on the toy, it tapers up at the top where the knob is. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mark that real quick with a marker. Just kind of get go about uh, three sixteenths, go down about an inch and a half, and it kind of gives me a start. So you can see how that one tapered down. And this is how we're going to do it with this one here. So I'm going to, let's see, let's see. I think instead of using the, I'm going to just try using the sander so it won't be so many sparks for depth. <laughs> So 
I got this this whole bench here, the toolbox. It's got all the the top ones, all the welding stuff. Then the, the then the second one is the nuts and bolts. The third one's the washers. The fourth one is the screws. So that's where I keep most of all my stuff that I'm working with. So now I need to get some uh, a nut here. There. So I'll show you how I start out the knob, the end there. So what I do is I just take this, put it in the vise. You want to probably look, maybe. Yeah, I'll look away. Look away so we don't get that bright flash on the camera. It just it don't take long. Just kind of tapping. Oh, not even have the camera looking at it. Um, no, I'll maybe just look at the bench where my. This is just. I don't know. Okay, it don't take long. She's the nuts welded on the end of it. Let me dip it in the water real quick. And then I can get this back cleaned up. See, after you weld it, it burns everything and it makes it look black and kind of nasty. So I'm going to take and clean that up real quick. step is to decide how long this has to be because uh, the none of those levers were exactly the same length so let me buzz down here real quick and just kind of eyeball this these little levers so we got this can be the first one so he's short the second one's gonna be looks like about maybe two inches longer but it's got a curve it's got two curves in it one one left and one right so I'm gonna make it maybe uh, Maybe a little, let's put a little bend in it in here. Right there. Right there. And then it's got to get another bend in it the other way. That will offset it. That will offset it. So then you can see that that it still came back um, horizontal again. I mean vertical again to where it'll offset it, so it won't bump into that other lever. So now I'm going to give it the same distance down below. So I figure that my marks right here. So I'm going to go 
about maybe here because each one got longer so I'm gonna put them maybe right there and then I'll cut off some of you said you like seeing me actually making a couple of the parts so instead of just talking about it so now I'll get the bands on here buzz this off So here's where we're at now, but that's whenever you cut anything, it's got a burr on it. So every every single piece of metal that you cut has to be sanded. Okay, so now now we got to put the little washer on the bottom where it will pivot. So when it's done, this. This lever will be the shortest one. And then this one go on this. This will go on the second slot. So let's see how there's a little bit of room there for your hand to move it. So right now we got to do the the washer. So let me grab a washer right here. I'm using fender washers for these. And gives me a little bit more to work with here. So let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that fender washer just above the opening, so I can still get the the nut and bolt on there. Then I'm going to just tack weld that side, and I'll turn it over and tack weld that side. So I got to clean it real quick, and this will give you a pretty good idea how how I'm making these. Sorry if it's taking so long. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry, but it's just kind of slow process sometimes. I line everything up and clamp it just right. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Oh, wait. Let me just. on there with the weld it burns it all up and kind of boils it up a little bit but it's a good on there good and solid okay so now let me clean that up Shear. I didn't have any small fender washers, so I just took the ones that I had, and uh, they got this one is a three sixteenths hole, so I got to drill that out to quarter inch, and this one already has a quarter inch hole, so I'm just using that one. So what I'm going to do instead of that big washer, those big wa this was a large one. I just snipped it off on the shear. So Deb, if you want to come over here real quick and point down there. Maybe over here, if you stand right there, maybe point back. Then you'll be able to see how I'm trimming this down to, uh, to where it won't use, take up so much room. And I'll shear it there. And I'll round it off a little bit. And I'll round it off a little bit more right there. If I would have had a smaller fender washer, well, I guess not, because you still have to have that much room to weld and still have room for the quarter inch bolt so okay so now i'm going to take this well, we're almost done everybody okay i'm going to take this and round it off Okay, so there's a 
second lever, and then the third lever also gets the also, the third lever also gets that kind of that bend like that, and it will be the next size. It'll be longer yet. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this this shape here, once with it got a little bit of filler on it, how it's going to kind of look. We'll get it to look a little bit more like a, a knob, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to just take this. See the difference how it looks almost like a little knob so then if you take if I'll go down here real quick and then um, so go down here real quick go back to the vice dev and I'll try to uh, find a piece of sandpaper in here maybe sand on it just a little bit on that side and a little bit on this side. And I'll try to get the shape here a little bit to kind of make it look like a, a knob that's the lever that's on there. So there you, go. you guys can see kind of a little bit of the process. Actually, me actually making one of these little levers and cutting the cutting the console there you can kind of see how it's almost got that shape on some of these these it actually looks like the first one is round but the second but now this but this is still flat so I think it's fine and the second one it looks like it's got a more of a flat a flat not lever to it so anyway that's where we're at and that way you guys could see kind of tomorrow's project that I will start getting going on will be this console and let me grab that again right so what happens what happens next is I build the third one the third level is really long and it really stretches out there and so I might not I might just go with the three because that's all there is the levers on here and that way, the way that way I'll have a little bit more support there on the other side. So, so there's that, and there's that, and then the third one will go come up and go out even more, and then straight up and just go a little bit, a little bit higher than this one, not a lot. And then, um, then I'll build once those are on there, and I get the pins attached here where they're where all they're, they're going to be once these leverage are attached then i'll go back and i'll put a piece of i'll put a piece of metal in here underneath and weld it underneath and then uh you then i'll get some filler and i'll fill that in so you won't even know that 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 was cut open like that and then when that lever comes back they'll hit they'll hit that plus that'll reinforce it and then after that then this gets a this gets a back piece put on it like that, so then that'll support it. And then it'll get another piece that goes on this side. 
and that'll support that and then it'll get a piece on here so it'll be a complete a complete box even though it's tapered like this one is it'll be very solid so if over the next 50 years to 70 years if little kids grab onto these levers and move them they're gonna they should be fine and uh they'll be it'll be nice and solid so anyway you guys i think that is it okay what well, oh snowfall Deb, we um we've got 41 inches 41 inches of snow as of january 14th so what's the date today deb the 20th 21st do you remember uh i think it's like 17 18. Yeah, 18th, 19th, I don't know. So anyway, we got 41 inches, and last year we had 80 inches. Yeah. So, wow. 40 inches difference. So, it's been a mild winter. So, tonight, the cold air is supposed to come in down from Canada, the northwest wind. So, we're scheduled to get lake effect snow for the next few days. So, they said we might get five inches. So, if we do, I'll... I'll uh, see if we can't fire up the tractor and get uh, get a fresh snow blowing video for you guys because you like the snow i don't think a lot of you have a lot of snow and uh, i think you, i like i like watching snow plowing videos too so i don't blame you i like them too okay so we, what else deb anything nope um nothing no nope. so okay guys i'm very excited about the tractor still and tomorrow i'll work on the I'll work on the console. I should get that done tomorrow. And then the seat, you can see with the seat where I've started building the rear, the rear support up on the seat. So tomorrow I'll, I'll work on finishing this box down here. So if everything goes good, which it doesn't ever seem to go good, I don't ever seem to get done, but I do make some progress. Then we'll, uh, I'll get that seat mounted and the, maybe the floor mounted. So, but I'm happy about the seat. And I'm happy about getting the console started. So, okay, have a great Monday night. Catch you later. Thanks for all the nice comments.